Arhar Mahadev. Mantra is a dhari, it's a sound. Everything in creation exists at a specific frequency. And that frequency is its mantra. When you put it in the form of sound. When you put it in the form of a diagram, it becomes a yantra. So, let's say the sun. The NASA did this an experiment with the sound of the sun, you can google it, where the dhwani which came was That's the mantra of the sun. Your name is a mantra. You are what your name is. In the mantra lies the body of a dev. The seed of the mantra is its beej. And the seed lies at the feet of the guru. In a mantra, there is beej, there is shakti and keel. The guru has to channelize the mantra. A person who gives you the mantra has to first have the Siddhi of the Mantra, otherwise it becomes powerless. When it is given to a Sadhak, there is a keel which you call, like a nail you hammer in. So, that is a keel which the Guru does for you, so the Mantra does not harm you. Beej is the seed which you have to germinate inside you. And Shakti is the force which Guru gives you. when. He gives you the mantra. It has to be always channelized by a guru, never by musical artists or those who copy. We have to practice the science of mantras under the sanadhyaya of a guru. Then they become very powerful. These Divya Chikitsa mantras, which I am talking about, they deal at various dimensions. You exist in various dimensions. You do not exist just as the body. There is a Pranamaya Kosh, the Anamaya Kosh, Manumaya, Vigyanamaya, Anandamaya. There are layers and layers to you. Everything in creation is in layers. So, when in this specific sequence you chant the Divya Chikitsa Mantras, it has a cleansing effect on the body and the soul. It's a very beautiful, subtle cleansing effect. It takes you to a dimension. It takes you beyond the limitations of your physical body and the physical dimension. You must practice the Deva Chikitsa Mantras and see the effect. And let me know what you felt when you practice them. Because when you chant them, every aspect of divinity is inside you. So when you chant those mantras, what is happening? A vibration is created inside you. And what does the vibration do? Raises the frequency. No, uh, vibrations change the frequency. Yoga is nirantar abhyas. It's constant practice which gets you the benefit, the fruit. So let's do them and see what happens. Om Sarva Mangal Mangale Shive Sarvartha Sadike. Sharan Nedrambake Gauri Narayani Namostate